Hi, Matt Watson here from CarWow, and I've got a killer SUV drag race for you. It's utterly nuts, because I'm sitting in a Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT, and next to me is a Lamborghini Urus, and next to that is a Jeep Trackhawk, and next to that is a BMW X6M, and next to that is a Tesla Model X Long Range Performance, and we're going to see which is the quickest over the standing quarter mile. Oh yeah. Let me tell you about this Porsche, because it's immense. 4 litre twin turbo V8, 640 horsepower, 850 newton metres of torque, four wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox, launch control, weighs in around 2.2 tonnes, quite expensive, costs from over 140,000 pounds. It's not as expensive as that Lambo though, that starts from over 170,000 pounds. It's got pretty much the same engine, four litre twin turbo V8, but because it's a Lamborghini, it's more expensive, it has to have more power, and so it has 10 horsepower more. 650 horsepower, that has the same torque, 850 newton meters. Once again, four wheel drive, eight speed automatic gearbox, launch control, weight similar to this, 2.2 tons. Trackhawk, that's got a 6.2 litre supercharged V8 with 707 horsepower and 875 newton meters of torque. It's a bit on the heavy side though, obviously it's American, weighs over 2.4 tons. Hmm. It's the cheapest though, when they were on sale, they cost around 90,000 pounds. The Jeep also has four wheel drive and an eight speed automatic gearbox with launch control. Now we come to the BMW. It has a 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 with 625 horsepower and 750 newton metres of torque. It weighs in at just under 2.4 tonnes. It also has four wheel drive, an eight speed automatic gearbox and launch control. I think there's a theme developing here, isn't there? And the price? You're looking at around £115,000. Finally then, the Tesla. So it has two electric motors, and combined they produce 780 horsepower, and you have 1,140 newton metres of torque, so it does get off the line rather well. Obviously, no gears, but it does have launch control, of course, being a Tesla. It does have big batteries on it, though. It's got 100 kilowatt hour battery, so it's the heaviest here. It's just under two and a half tonnes. In terms of pricing, just over £100,000. Now, if you want to compare all those stats, we're going to do a freeze frame where you can look at them and compare the cars side by side. So pause your video now. Now, before we race, I've just got to do a couple of shout outs to the people who have helped provide some of these cars. That Lamborghini is from a company called Q Drive Performance, and they're a rental company for high end luxury sports cars and SUVs and limousines. So check them out, just Google them if you want to borrow a car such as that. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Adam Tanvir who brought the Jeep along. And if you want to follow him on Instagram, his handle is Adam underscore underscore Tanvir. Obviously, there's links in the description to all of these things, okay? So go check that out. Say thanks, it does help us get these cars. Now, so please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss any of these cool uploads. And if you haven't done so already, why not follow me on Instagram? at Matt Watson Cars, and also CarWow as well, at CarWow. Check us both out, different stuff from behind the scenes. Anyway, let's do this. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, before we race, let's do the customary CarWow sound check. So I'm gonna rev up this Porsche. I've got it in its fruitiest setting. And I have a goddamn ah, rev limiter. Now, to all you who are busy typing right now, go, oh, mate, all you have to do is put the car into neutral and then rev it, and then it'll work. I'll do that. No. I have to turn the stability control off, and then it'll do it. Stability control. All the way off. No, it still doesn't do it. And then those going, well, you need to do it. It's a GT car, so what you do, you put it into drive, and then you pull up on both paddles, and then do it, and, and, and no. None of that works! So that's what it sounds like when you're revving static. It's your lot. Go on, Sam, rev up the Lambo. Yeah, you all thought I was going to introduce Yanni then, didn't you? Not this time. Yeah, that was quite nice. Let's have a listen to the Jeep. Okay, let's hear the BMW. There's not a soft limit on the BMW, surely? There is, sad times, at 4,000 RPM. Okay, um, it's a pointless thing to say, but can you make a noise in your Tesla, Richard? Oh, by the way, that's Richard Simons from RS Simons EV YouTube channel. So if you want lots of electric car content, check him out, link's in the description. Go on, Richard, make an electric noise. I can't bring much to the party here, Matt. I can hear the grasshoppers in the field next to me. We'll have to put that on. Shall we race? Three, two, one. Oh. This was a bit slow. 
slow off the line. Oh, look at the Tesla just thrashing everyone. Oh my God. The Porsche is coming back now. And the BMW was gaining. That was weird. This didn't launch like I know it can launch. Track hook is off. The Porsche is going well, but here comes the Tesla. Can I get the Tesla? This is a photo finish. That Lambo is just getting dropped really badly. Yeah, it's launching really well and it's going through the gears really well. There's no stuttering, there's no delays, and it's just getting destroyed. I'll tell you which car launches the best though. It's the American, but it's not the one you expect. It's the Jeep Trackhawk. That was a good result, wasn't it, Jeep? Yeah, this launch control is really good. It tells you exactly when it's gonna do it, 1800 RPM, and then it just fires off. It's properly set up. And you, Richard, in your Tesla Model X, did I beat you? That was very close, I think. Do you want another go at it, Richard? I always want another go at it, Matt. I just need to make sure I beat you. Best two out of three, because it's one each. Let's just do it. Come on, Porsche. It's going to be so close. Come on! Come on! Oh, I don't know! Wow! <laughs> Richard, it's just between me and you, mate. The other cars, are, they're just, you know, playing around for third, fourth and fifth place. I don't know who won between you and I then. You were off the line quicker. It was really even most of the way. I was just starting to feel this, 120 so miles an hour, running out of puff a little bit. You were having the legs on me then. It's a really good race and this thing is so quick and it did an amazing time. Probably pretty much the exact same time as the Tesla. So then what exactly happened? Well, both the Tesla and the Porsche did the standing quarter mile in 11.2 seconds. But the slow motion action replay shows the Model X crossed the line first. Meanwhile, the BMW and Lamborghini both took 11.8 seconds, though the X6 was a fraction ahead of the Urus. Last was the Jeep with a time of 12.1 seconds. Okay, now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The car's in just a normal everyday setting like you drive around. So automatic for the gearbox and general comfort mode. I'm going to count this in. Three, two, one, go. Kick down, come on, kick down. God, I saw that Lamborghini just like hesitate for ages. There we go, that Tesla buggered off. I'm coming past the other cars. Can I catch this Tesla before the mile mark? Keep going, Tesla. I'm going to try and get past you for the mile. Right, Lamborghini. Your kickdown was unbelievably slow when you had it in Strada mode. What happened? You said exactly what happened. I think that may be one of the slowest kickdowns I've ever experienced. And where did you come after the mile? I just beat the Jeep, so second last. <laughs> Tesla, obviously you were second, and BMW, did you hit any speed limiter? It felt like it was pegged at about 159, which is a, a very strange number for it to have chosen, but then that was right at the finish, so it may well pull harder than that. So do you think you had the legs on the other two cars? Oh yeah, definitely. I thought I had the legs on you for a bit, but no, I couldn't keep up with you. And then uh, I was really in the Tesla. I was really getting close to him, but couldn't quite get past at the mile. Okay then, let's try something else. All right, now we're getting to the same again. This time we put the cars into manual mode and sports mode, and we are going to see what happens this time. Three, two, one, go. That track all just goes. But then the Porsche goes even hard. Now can I beat the Tesla to the half mile? Here's half mile. Oh, just got him. Let's spank him for the mile. 
167 mile an hour, 170. There we go, 174 mile an hour. Okay, Jeep, you take off like the Tesla. I mean, actually, was the response as good as the Tesla? I think it's because this is supercharged and the others are turbocharged. It just has that instant throttle response. It's mega. Tesla, did you get the jump on the Jeep? And did you get the jump on me? What's going on with that Jeep? He was gone, but I just felt like I hit an aerodynamic wall of about 130 miles an hour. You came past me, about 140 miles an hour. I started seeing the other cars and they were coming past as well. Does that mean that you lost it over the mile? I think I was about fourth over the mile, I think. So who came last? I believe it was me. The Jeep runs out of puff at about 130, 140, it starts to fall back. Would that be due to the fact that it basically is as aerodynamic as the White Cliffs of Dover? Yeah, almost certainly that's the problem. Lamborghini, did you beat the BMW? I came second, Matthew. But you were still pulling away. None of this makes sense. I don't understand what's happening. I love the fact that both the Porsche and the Lamborghini share so many parts. And the Lamborghini is more expensive and it has more horsepower. But it's way slower, isn't it? This, it is the difference between the Porsche brand and the Lamborghini brand. Porsche is better than Lamborghini, isn't it? Porsche is better than most, I'm afraid. True. OK, now we have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. See which car stops in the shortest distance. Come on, Porsche. You're famous for having brilliant braking capabilities. Here we go, here comes the line. I don't know what it is, son, but whichever car you are in when we're doing a brake test, you win. I'm, I'm laughing, so I have to get my words. I didn't, because this is running a little, little bit low on brake pads, I didn't think I was going to win that, but I did, so I'm just happy. <laughs> so it appears that the Lamborghini isn't the fastest in the straight line, but it can stop quicker than the Porsche, well, when you're driving it. That seems to be the answer. I thought the Porsche was going to beat me on that. Me too. How was it for you in the Jeep? Because you look like you're about two car lengths ahead of me, so that'd be quite dangerous, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't brilliant. Finally then, BMW. I think I just about beat you. My bottom seems to be behind this line in the tarmac and you seem to be ahead of it. Do you agree with me with that? Yeah, I think you're right, but I'm just gonna move my electric chair back so that my backside is behind the line and I'm gonna call that a draw for second place. Uh, I saw you move it, it doesn't go back far enough, I'm afraid. Uh, and also instant disqualification for cheating. Now, if you'd love a performance SUV that is quite a bit cheaper than the ones I've got here, Click on the pop-out banner up there to go check out my pick, which I found on CarWow with a really good deal available on it. So click on that pop-out banner, I'll follow the link in the description to check that out. As ever, please make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And also check out Richard's channel, RS Simons EV. To say thanks for all the people who've lent us these cars, I've put links in the description, nice and high up, so you can click through to find out more about their cars. Okay, so please make sure you do that because it really does affect how many cars we can get in future to film for you, all right? Anyway, hope you'll enjoy the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know some other drag races you'd like to see in the comments below. Click on those windows there for more videos and click on the box there to get a cookie. Not like the ones that you eat, it's most likely just a kind of web browsing cookie so we can track you. We don't track you. YouTube probably does, but anyway, let's just wrap this up. <laughs>